All right, Rippers, good to have you back. I hope you guys are all out there having a good end of your weekend, having a nice, calm Sunday, right? I hope you got to go out and do fun things like I did with your family over spring break, whether that's going on a vacation or just going out to the range, spending time with your loved ones and your sons like I did, or uh, getting out and watching a movie, cooking with them, all that kind of stuff, right? The kind of stuff that you'll never forget that always brightens your day, and yet, if you don't do it, you can't get that time back, right? Because time is only uh, this big, right? And you never know when it's over, right? Right. So get out there, be having that time, because it really matters, right? You'll never, ever regret it. I promise you that. Now, what we're going to talk about today at the bench here is, is uh, AR-15s, right? Some things that might help you in your knowledge and acquisition of helpful and useful things for your AR-15 or your kit, right? One of those, of course, being magazines with prices going up and the constant battle against especially these ones, well, and even these ones, depending on how strict they want to get. Shoot, in California, I don't think you can have either. <laughs> Anyway, that being said, uh, there's some things to know about magazines. Now, you can get some, you know, that used to be about $14 or $15 that were MRTs, I think they were called. Uh, this is a Magpul. You can get them with cool little engravings on it, depending on where you shop. Uh, I even got them in different colors and all kinds of stuff, right? And then there's these aluminum metal GI issue type uh, 20 rounders. These are still great to have. Uh, I like to have them too, especially when I'm at the bench shooting because they don't stick out as far as the 30 rounders. Um, but there's some things to know that will help you out in having reliability and long use out of your AR-15 magazines. Now, this one here is a Magpul. I want to say it might be a Gen 1 or 2. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, probably. And uh, what you got here is... If you look, this is the follower right here, right? That's where your mag your bullets go in. Well, if you look and you push in on this follower at the tip, you see how it slides down nice and easy and smooth, how easy that is to do? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's called an anti-tip follower. It doesn't allow the nose of the follower to tip down and get stuck and cause feeding issues. So these are really reliable, really good feeding uh, some of your really high dollar magazines like HK mags, which are probably about the best mags you can get out there. Uh, all stainless steel, anti-tip. They're just as smooth as butter. Uh, but there's no reason when you can get a P mag for, you know what, I don't know what they are now. They could be up as much as $30 a piece. So that's why I'm having this video is to talk about getting them while you can before you can't, right? It's a small investment right now. So Here's what a no-tip follower, so this old GI model has the original follower in it, and they work just fine. I'm not going to say that these don't work and everything like that, but one inherent problem with them was, as you can see, if I push on that tip and you see how it got stuck, right? That can happen with your rounds if you drop it or push in and load them wrong or anything, so you have to like push it down again to get it to reset, right? That's because this doesn't have an anti-tip follower and it allows it to bind just like this, right? So if you have some of these old ones and it's time to replace them or get them, buy yourself a kit, which would usually get you a bag of anti-tip followers and just replace them with anti-tip, right? Uh, if they're working fine, then use them until they don't. Then when you have to go replace them, replace them with anti-tip followers, all right? So the next thing to have we talked about loaders before, but one of the loaders I wasn't able to find or locate, I located. This is my AR-15 uh, loader, right? Besides the strippers, which is probably the fastest way, is to get yourself a bunch of strippers, handful of $1 bills, have them load your magazines, right? That's the fastest and easiest way to do it. Plus, it's a lot of fun to watch. But if we're talking reality here, uh, this right here is called the Lula loader l-u-l-a or maglula.com m-a-g-l-u-l-a.com not affiliated with them in any way this is their ar-15 model has a little ring on here so you can clip it or lanyard it to your pocket so you don't lose it or whatever you can put this in your vest in your backpack whatever but what's nice about it is is it makes loading easy now you can see it fits on 
P mags, right? And it locks on. So, right? So it's, it makes it easy to use. It's not going to fall off like those ones you have to push, right? Okay. So to get it off, you just push up on that little latch, which simulates your magazine release. And then you can see that it works even on these mags. See, it's on there good, right? Even works on the mil spec mags. Works on most mags, come think of it. So what this does is, is we'll show you here. You clip it on like that. And then we're gonna grab ourselves some rounds here. See how I got those rounds? And basically what you do is you just drop it in there and rotate the lever. Drop the leather down, rotate it, drop it up, rotate it, drop it down. Look at how fast that goes. Oh, we'll put some more in there. Look at this, we can just throw them in there. Oops. And every time, oh, you wanna keep it down. You just throw it in, lift it up. Throw it in, push it down. Throw it in, lift it up. Throw it in, push it down, or I got them backwards, there we go. So as you can see, if you have a handful of them like this, you can just keep going and dropping it in for every stroke, you drop one in. Look at that, and then it just pushes it down, magazine loaded. Really, really, really eases it up on your fingers and everything else, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, because if you load up, say 10, 15, or you're loading up boxes of these, off of just a box of ammo, it can get rather tiresome. Like I said, the first way I said is the easiest and funnest, but this is a close second, right? All right. So get yourself one of these Maglula or Lula loaders, right? At Maglula, M A G L U L A dot com. Tell them you're a ripper. Not that it does anything, but just tell them. <laughs> Anyhow, because I'm not affiliated in any way, don't get any kickbacks. But if they're watching, give me a call. <laughs> Anyhow, another thing you should have too is, is a nice magazine holder. And I'm not talking about like the ones on your vest. Those are usually put on with uh, 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 your, uh, oh shoot, why is it slipping my mind, right? Your Molly Web system, right? Uh, and are set up and are more of a permanent type of thing. You want something that you can quickly have to throw on your belt. I like these paddle style like this, right? I also like the kind that go on, a, a, like if you had a designated war belt or, or working belt, something like that, you could have it all loaded up with one of these on there. But I like the ability to say, if you just hear a bump in the night or whatever, throw your britches on, be able to slide one of these into your belt band, and then, oops, get it the right way and throw a magazine in it for your AR-15, grab your bump in the night AR-15 and head on out and take a look, right? Something like this, you can have one or two of these. They're really inexpensive. This one's made by Fab Defense. It's all one piece, very light, uh, goes on easy, is comfortable. Uh, you can even get a paddle style magazine for your sidearm, which we'll go over in a different video, but we're talking about AR-15s right now. So you can see it fits either that style or the mil spec style, right? It'll even take 30 round mil spec type magazines, right? So that's something you can have just like this, right? And just grab it, put it on and go, right? So something like that is really handy. You can do the same thing with a 30 rounder, flip it on, ready to go. That is something that you should probably have at least one or two of, right? Before things are getting hard to find. So. The next thing is you can get yourself some mag doublers like this. This one right here is specifically made for mag pole. It's a very sturdy unit, has two screws and locks up with the notches in their magazines. As you can see, these are some of the newer windowed magazines. I like those. Uh, and it doubles it up so that you can have a magazine in the mag well and one ready to go. Then all you have to do to reload is just drop the mag out, slide it over and put it up back in there and you're ready to empty the next one. I like having some of these, they're pretty handy. It does make the gun a little bit heavier, but uh, it gives you the ability to have one more magazine ready to go closer than the ones in your pocket or just add one more mag to your loadout. Uh, so you can see, you can get the Magpul ones like that that fit really well, they lock up really nice. They even have inexpensive ones like this. I believe that's like an Uncle Mike's or something like that. Doesn't even have, oh, there we go, it's a P Mag doubler made by pmag it just has one screw as you can see going through there and it clamps them together front and back like that there's a front or it's a back and a front side and those work pretty well as well um, they're less expensive you usually get a couple in a pack 
than say the Magpul ones. I think the Magpul ones are a little bit nicer. And then they also make some cheap Chinese ones that are made out of metal. And those do work, but you really gotta tighten the heck out of them and they don't hold them as sturdy. Like where these don't rotate, the other ones can be tweaked a little bit. So you know what? Sometimes you get a little bit what you pay for. So though that right there is another thing you should have. So that being said, I hope you go out, find some of these items. I hope it helps you think about these things you may not have known about. I hope it gets you to think about getting some replacement, maybe springs and followers for your magazines. And when you do, which ones are you going to get? You're going to get the anti-tip ones, right? And that way, when things do wear out, you're able to replace them during a time in the future where you might not be able to. So just think about that. And then also, ways to carry your magazine. These are inexpensive now. They probably won't be later. So, like I always say, be safe, be secure. Always be aware of your surroundings. Be getting ready and prepared for anything that may come your way. And if you've got it, wear it. And if you wear it, get out and use it and practice. Become sharp and efficient with it so that you can help yourselves and others. Adios.